Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Well, good day, Brooke. Thank you for joining us here live in Dallas, Texas on the Bounder BB Show. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be on the show. Well, I want to talk about skinny suppers. I talk to a lot of medical people, and there's a lot going on medically with people from diabetes to heart disease. But one of the first things they go to is their diet, and your book seems to... Uh, address that in many ways. Could you tell us about Skinny Suppers? Yes. Oh, my goodness. I would love to tell you about Skinny Suppers. Um, so to kick it off, it's 125 lightened up, easy to make recipes. And you're exactly right, Valder. I mean, it really comes back to diet and making healthy choices. And I think what better um, meal to do that and then supper time or dinner time when you are not only feeding yourself, but most of us are feeding our families. So to be able to get a lightened up meal on the table um, that not only tastes good, but you can feel really good about eating um, is definitely uh, a positive step in the right direction. And it's a beautiful book, uh, so we'll enjoy, you know, uh, using it, seeing it, uh, keeping it on our counters. You've got a great topics in here, Why Supper Time Matters. What was that about? Yeah, so Valder, I actually grew up in a tiny town in southeastern Kentucky, and I grew up with a granny that cooked for us every night. So supper time was a huge deal. I mean, we, we sat down and we ate um, as a family, and this is where some of my favorite childhood memories came from, and I learned so much about my family at, at, you know, during, the, during supper time. So when I had my son, I said, you know, I want to recreate these memories for him, and I knew that it would require me to... Uh, be more intentional about dinner time, so not allowing him to have his iPad and the electronics and really have meaningful conversation around supper time. So that was one of the things that inspired me to write this cookbook. And those supper time chats are just engaging um, ideas that you can use to um, encourage great conversation around the dinner table with your family. So I hope everyone that picks up the cookbook will, will kind of take notice of those and, and try some of those supper time chats with their families. How did you come up with these great ideas? You've got southern fried chicken, but it's not southern fried chicken like we know. No, it isn't, Valder. Well, of course, I had to do southern fried chicken because um, the tiny town in which I grew up in, we actually are home of the original Kentucky fried chicken. That's the only thing we're famous for. So I said, I've got to put this recipe in the cookbook, but it's got great flavor, and it uses one of the skinny swaps that I um, use in a lot of my recipes, which is instead of frying with a lot of uh, grease and oil, you kind of fake fry um, with, uh, with baking it in the oven, but it has great flavor, and it's also really crispy, so it's, a, it's an easy way to save calories and fat, but um, still have great tasting chicken. If you're battling all of these different things in society, you know, uh, a lot of times I'm finding people don't have one condition, they've got multiple conditions. Do, are there ideas in here to help you have a better diet? Because, you know, cooking, you still want to eat well. You do want to eat well. I think anytime you cook, you, you want to have great tasting food. And so I think that it can really help um, anyone just make better decisions when it comes to eating lightened up. We actually worked with a great nutritionist on this cookbook. So all of the recipes have full nutrition panels. So when you pick this up, you're going to know how many calories um, how much fat, how many carbs, the protein that each recipe has, which I think is helpful for anyone that has um, especially dietary restrictions or any type of diet that they're on. I want my audience to know the book is called Skinny Suppers, and I'm giving away a few copies. If you go to my Facebook page, like the icon when you see it or like the page, I'll include you in that. 
Brooke, let me ask you. They say they lo- you lost 70 pounds. Yes, I did. When I um, first had my son, I had gained some weight um, a little bit. 70 pounds is quite a bit. And um, I did. And it was really with eating, uh, making right choices when it comes to all of my meals. So I started um, cooking some skinny recipes every night, posting them to my website, and then also working out from home. It was just small changes. And over time, I was able to lose the weight and, um, and now, you know, hopefully share and inspire others to do the same. You could eat just out of your cookbook. You did such a great job in putting together great, healthy meals. I love this because a lot of book cookbooks, you have to supplement it with other things. You can cook one thing out of it, but here you could actually cook a whole meal. Yes, that's what I love, and a lot of the meals, as you see in the cookbook, we I give suggestions on the side dishes you could cook, and um, I, I think you said it best. It's Classic comfort food, southern inspired food, made skinny, so it's d- delicious tasting, so you can cook out of it um, every night of the week. And I hope that, you know, anyone who picks up the cookbook does. Well, Brooke, you've got a New York Times bestseller going on here. I want to thank you so much for talking about it. Where would you like my audience to get more information? Yes, they can visit SkinnyMom.com or the cookbook's available wherever books are sold. And thank you, Valder, so much for having me on uh, the program. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate that, but you made a great cookbook, so you're my cook of the day. Thank you so much, Brooke Griffin. Oh, thank you.